Hey everybody, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesdays from Avid Max. My name is Brady and today we're going to show you how to tie a flashback Black Beauty here. So I have a TMC 2487 hook set in my vise. This is a size 18. So if you can see that. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> and we also have our tying thread. This is the Viva 16 knot in black that I'm using today. So we're just going to start that right on our hook. with some locking wraps and we'll build a nice consistent body working backward. Turn out that tag in. Super simple fly, but if you're uh, fishing tailwaters in Colorado, as long as, as well as many other drainages that have a high midge population, this is gonna be an awesome little fly for you. Very well known fly, has some different variations. Doing a flashback variation today. You can emit the tinsel. Add a mercury bead to make it a mercury black beauty. Made famous by Pat Dorsey. So now we're gonna take our small copper wire and we're gonna secure that in right on the side of the hook shank here. And we'll just work on up, covering that up, creating our small profile here. 16 knots great for this because you don't have to worry too much about your thread wraps as you're working since it's such a small gauge. Now we're going to come in with our flashback material. So I'm using just some pearlescent tinsel from Hairline. This is the medium gauge. And we're just going to tie that right in on top. Just like so. Pull back a little bit and then we'll cover that up as well. Working rearward. Again, a really simple fly. This is a great fly to practice as a beginner. And then you'll feel really good when you take it out to the water and it puts some, some nice fish in the net for you as well. Okay, so now that we have those materials secured, I'm gonna half hitch. And then we will bring our tinsel on up over. Getting my head of myself there. So let's pull that on up and over, keeping it right on top and capturing it right behind the hook eye, maybe a hook eye at back or so, I'll give you a little working room. And then we can bring our wire on up. A half hitch so I don't lose my thread wraps with that hook eye facing downward on this way that it's positioned in my vise there. So we'll do some quick segmentation of this fly four or five times on up to where our thread is. And then secure that down. And then we can come in with some super fine dubbing in black. This fly can be tied in a variety of colors, most popularly done in black. That's the name, Black Beauty. But you can transition it to a cream, a red, an olive to match the larva that you have in your drainage or whatever you might be fishing. So we're going to make just a small dubbing loop. There's that hairline black dubbing. Nice tight dubbing noodle. All right, so once we have a nice dubbing noodle there, we can start to wrap it and create a little bulbous thorax region on this fly. Right on up to our hook eye. And then all we have to do from there is give it a nice whip finish. Just like so. And clip out our excess thread. 
So again, there's your black beauty fly. I'm going to trim out some of these fibers going crazy. Super simple little pattern that is uh, very relevant during the winter. Must have winter fly, but can be fished all through the summer months and, and shoulder seasons as well. Uh, with midges being such a valuable food sources for so many trout out there. So there's a flashback, Black Beauty.